Welcome to dealing with materials data. In this course, we are going to learn about uh, collection, analysis and interpretation of materials data. And uh, we have completed uh, one module uh, which is on uh, introduction to R. Uh, in this module, again we are going to use R and we are going to learn how to do descriptive statistics. So, this is a module on descriptive statistics using R. And here are the objectives of this uh, module. Uh, first thing we want to learn to present experimental results. And uh, most of the times it is not possible to present all the experimental data that we have. So, we have to learn to present rank based reports of data. Uh, what are these? Uh, these are things like cumulative distribution, box plots, histogram plots, percentile plots and so on and so forth. So, you have the raw data and you do some amount of uh, uh, manipulation or analysis on that and then report the data. You can also present property reports of the data such as mean standard deviation and median and so on and so forth. And we will see examples of both. Sometimes it is useful to combine them both and to look at the data to better understand data. And sometimes just giving this property reports are sufficient, they completely describe the data. Uh, sometimes they are not sufficient, sometimes it is essential to give other information like cumulative distribution or histogram plot. And while reporting data, we should know about the significant numbers. Again, if you just measure data, then you will get some numbers and up to the accuracy to which it is measured uh, using your equipment that information will be there. But when we do manipulations on the data, we will uh, have some numbers that turn out and they might not have the same accuracy or same significant numbers. So, we have to make a conscious decision as to up to what number we are going to keep. So, we will learn about significant numbers in reporting data. Obviously, uh, when the experimental uh, results are obtained and analysis is done, uh, we will learn about the inaccuracies in our data and we should be able to present them. It is a good practice to report not just the numbers, but the associated inaccuracy. And we can do it in two ways, in absolute terms and in relative terms. And we are going to learn how to do that uh, in, in, in this uh, module. And uh, we will also learn partly how to report data in terms of probability distributions and confidence uh, intervals. Uh, but we are going to learn about probability distributions and how to uh, use R to look at probability distributions or manipulate them and, and so on. So, we will come back to this aspect again uh, later in the, in the course and uh, pay closer attention, but to some amount of uh, um, reporting as probability distribution we will do in this module. And how to graphically present data with error bars uh, is something that also uh, we should uh, know. So, we will learn that and uh, we will also learn you know the, the, the experimental data you can take, you can analyze, you can manipulate, you can present and you can give errors, you can give confidence intervals, you can graphically present. But it is also essential to know about the errors in data and classify the errors and understand how they propagate. You know, most of the times it is not just the measurement, but based on the measurements we carry out other calculations. So, if the measurement has an error, what is its effect on the further calculations that we do is very, very important. And finally, this is going to be uh, 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 an important chunk of this module is to learn to carry out Monte Carlo simulation to understand how uncertainty in results uh, um, uh, are going to be given the uncertainty in the input parameter. So, we want to estimate the uncertainty in the result uh, given some uncertainty in the input parameter. So, we are going to look at some very, very simple um, cases uh, to just understand how this is done. And we want to do all this using R. So, that is the, uh, the, the purpose of this module. So, this is to do a descriptive data analysis using R. So, that is the aim of this uh, session, this module. 
and we are going to do all of this at some level. And some of them we are going to like uh, probability distribution and confidence interval we will do only partly we will come back and redo it later after we do the probability distribution part of the course. And so the methodology as usual is to use materials data set wherever possible and we are also going to try and use the same material data set for doing more than one analysis and this will help us better understand the data. It will also help us understand the methodology, okay. so familiarity with the data and the better understanding of the data uh, will also help us understand the methodologies of these uh, uh, some of these analysis themselves. And we are going to start with some very simple data sets and we will graduate to more and more complicated ones. Uh, even then they are not data sets which are very large uh, like sometimes are used in the literature. Uh, but we hope that uh, our sessions will um, prepare you for dealing with such really large data sets and more complicated data sets. So this is a session on doing descriptive data uh, analysis or descriptive statistics using R. Uh, welcome and uh, we will go through uh, each of these objects, uh, objectives uh, one by one um, using materials data sets. Thank you.